Hi guys, how are you doing? Uh, this is a new generator. Uh, basically, we used this motor before, I believe. Uh, it's a generator that, low, uh, that work on very low RPM. It's a DC motor. Uh, the concept is very interesting, as you see. It's a small motor here of 12 volt, very small. It works with a gearbox, okay? With a potentiometer that drive this DC motor that is acting like an inverter as well it's acting as a generator <coughs> and give you IC 110 to 220 uh, usually we are we used to see a, a, a dynamo for example that is a generator you, this is not new but what is new here that this motor a DC motor is converting the is divided to two one converting to the AC and from the other side, inside is a battery charger. Very interesting. He makes the two action in the same time. Okay, we are going to demonstrate it. Is. The concept can work uh, with or without any external source or battery or solar. In this case, we are going to show how it works with a battery and charge another battery from the other side and give AC a load. But in the end of the video, I will show you how can you use this generator without any battery or any source. Okay, the output of the the output of the energy power is not coming from the motor; it's coming only from the motor, but not from the battery. You understand? So everything comes from the DC motor. Uh, basically, it's a DC motor generator. Work is a 110, 220 volt, as I said. It's an AC fuel generator and a battery charger. At the same time, in fact, the motor and the divided current is coming from like an inverter of a battery charger at once. Very friendly to environment and very quiet. And it works on a very, very low RPM. Uh, this DC alternator, we call it, or uh, generator, you have an output of 15 ampere. It's nice, it's very, very nice. And we can make the concept uh, bigger, of course. Uh, the motor itself, as you see here, is uh, 0 0.18 uh, kilowatt. You can see, if you want to see it here, look, uh, which kind of motor it is. So you can get it. I think you can get it everywhere. Okay. Uh, I can put nearly 20 bulb like that. I just don't have the bulbs, but uh, I put for, for four for the demonstration and let's see how it works, okay? So, uh, this is the battery that will run the, with the potentiometer, the small DC motor 12 volt. The gearbox helping to spin it slowly and uh, very efficient and very strong. The current and the output divided as I told you one to AC and one go to the battery that we are going to charge. So the main thing is that you cannot remain without power because from one side you are using this battery you can charge another battery or a bigger battery and you always remain with power and the timer the Relay is swapping the battery every one hour. It means that after one hour that you use this battery, the charge battery will be now the input battery, and the input battery will be the charge battery. You understand? Let's make a test. Uh, first, I will connect the charge to the voltmeter so we can see what is the actual charge that we get. I have, to put, I have to put around two regulators here not in order not to burn the battery because the charge is very, very strong, you understand? So without the regulator, you can put really huge battery to charge, okay? The regulator are here, as you see. All the system is here. Let's just see what it gives when we charge it. Okay, and we are going now to see the load at the same time with the charge. Then we are going to put the batteries to the charge battery, okay? It's an interesting concept, really. Now, 
Look the RPM how slow it is. Okay, I close, I open. Look at the look at the charge. 19 volt, okay? And here you can see that I'm lighting the bulb. You see in a very look look at the RPM, you can see it better here. You see it's maybe 20 RPM, not more. Okay? Now, we are going to put the battery, so we can see it in, in real time, okay. One, and we see the ball, the second one. And the minus, we go to the battery too. Okay. This is the battery I took. I put some load on the battery before the video. So we can see how we charge it back. And then we can put maybe even a bigger battery. But we can start with this one. Now, look. We are turning the... You see, and look at the battery. You see, we're charging the battery very, very well. The regulator makes it very soft. And it really can work for one hour. And then when the charge, when the charge battery is full, it will stop automatically. And this will be the charge battery, okay? Now, in case you want to put... You want to put another... Uh, Bulb, you can do so as well. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, I will change the fuse because I think I put a bigger fuse. And then you see, I think I put the wrong fuse, I believe. So I will see. Wait. This is a really two ampere fuse, so it's not really that. Okay. Yeah, this is not the right fuse. That's a problem. I will see if I have another one. But anyway. I have put those fuses before. But we can see if we have something that can resemble here. It can fit, maybe. I don't know. We can see. Uh, this is not the fuse as well. Maybe this one. I'm not sure. Okay. So this is not the point. The fuse. It's the, I have to put a strong fuse. Now, the other bulb, you can put as well a different bulb. If you are not happy with this bulb, uh, you can put all kind of bulb that you want. 20 bulb of uh, 10 watt will, will do perfectly. Uh, should it should work as well. You see? Okay. And whatever. What the last thing I like to show you is maybe if we can uh, charge a bigger battery. Uh, let me see. Why, I, why I, I like to charge a bigger battery? Because it's not only that you charge a battery, you can use one of the big batteries that I'm going to put now, an inverter, a big inverter. So, we can take this battery out. This is a, maybe a 10, 10 ampere uh, battery, 10, 10 ampere hour, okay? And now we can put maybe a bigger battery here. We can try. Uh, usually this is a battery of 75 ampere. It's a lot, I know. But we can try to. And uh, let me see if we can charge it too. This is the inverter. Okay. This is the inverter. Uh, we can use the inverter after on the battery 
the most important thing is to charge this battery. Yes? So it's a huge battery. It's a huge battery, but let's see. So I got to put it here. And this here. I have to put a, a bigger fuse uh, because this fuse is for from the voltmeter, <laughs> so it's not really good for that. But let's see how much we have here uh, from this battery. In case, and here as well. Twelve sixty-four. Let's see if we can charge this battery too, a little bit. You see, it charged, but the fuse is dead. It's not the first time it's happened to me, but it's charging very, very well. Well, I'm not very prepared for the fuse, so I didn't know this. Look at the number. See? Okay, we are charging the battery very, very slowly. 55, it was 54. Okay. So it's very, very, very efficient machine, as you see. You see, 56. Okay, so it can charge very, very nice, a 74 ampere battery, that is a lot. Okay. Now, once, once the, the battery is charged, the whole, you can use as well the inverter from from the battery, okay. And this is not new; we know that. And we can use many things at the same time. You understand? So this is the basically this is basically the. What you can do with the machine, you understand? Okay. So, from a 12 volt motor DC with a 8.4 ampere battery, one hour, two hours you charge the big battery. And then the big battery will act as an input battery or a small battery in addition you have always power always power so it's very very interesting uh, from a dc motor that work on a very low rpm i hope you like the test the last thing is i promise you how to show you uh, how this generator can work without any batteries okay so i wish take the battery out No battery, okay? And I will take this one out for, for example for one second. So you can see there is no sound. Okay, the charge is out completely, okay? Now if you don't have a battery and you want to run this generator, I will show you how to do it with a hand crack. It's so simple that I did it as well in case I need it. So I put it here. I put it inside, okay, look, it's inside, and look, I just touch, I just touch, look, look, you see, it's generating from zero RPM, you see, look, with one finger as well, you can do it, it's unbelievable, and we are going to see if we can charge a big battery from that as well without any battery. So let's do that as well. We do it here. We put it here. And we have on the battery. Exactly. Let's see. Well, let's see. Okay. We have 1245. 
So, let's spin it and look at the numbers. You see the numbers? 47, 48, slowly, slowly. And it's still working, you see? It's very nice. So, thank you, and I hope you understand how it works without any batteries. Well, bye.